Alright, what's up guys? Back with another YouTube video here. Welcome back to the channel. And in today's video, we will be doing a What's in My Camera Bag 2020. Let's check it out. Let's start off with my camera bags. Right now, I have about two. First bag, it's Peak Design Everyday Backpack, 30 liters. Like, and this has been with me for about half a year. I don't use it as often, mainly because it's, what is it? the straps up here, they aren't the most comfortable. It is pretty cool how it opens up on the side from both sides. Up next, we got the Ruka Zach Noil 2.0 backpack. This is the second version in the series. I previously owned the first one, but the second one is supposed to be better, I think. I have it set up like this, so I can just slip my camera right in here. And then my 70 to 200 or drone. On to the next. All right, up next we have the camera body. Currently, I am filming on my Canon EOS 5D Mark IV. And then as my backup camera, I have the Canon EOS 70D. I've had this since probably my junior year of high school. This is what got me really started into videos. Been through a lot, lots of hype. A couple of vlogs actually. I like the flip out screen, that's why I just talk like that. All right, and now let's get onto the lenses. So. The lens that I have filming right now is a 16-35 f2.8 Mark II version. Really great lens to me. I use it for a lot of my photography. Not so much portraits, but like, or I guess I can, but it's like lifestyle portraits where it's like showing off the scenery as well. So up next, I'm going to start juggling these. No, I'm kidding. But we can start off with the smallest out of the three. I have a 51.4 from Canon. I know the Sigma one is a little bit bigger like this. Oh. Sorry, that was work. But anyways, but yeah, I've had this since I've had my 70D. This is my second ever lens. On to the next. Up next, we have the Sigma 35 1.4. This is probably one of my favorite portrait lenses. Up next, we have Beast of a Lens, the part of the Holy Trinity of lenses. If you guys don't know what that is, it's the 16 to 35, 24 to 70. And the 70 to 200 right here. So the 70 200, this is the f2.8 Mark III version with image stabilization. And I kind of don't have any words. This is great for sports. I used it to take pictures for my brother's football team. Now moving on to, to my drone. So currently I own the DJI Mavic Air, for those of you who didn't know. Yeah, this is a really great drone. It's small, like the size of my hand basically and it fits pretty much anywhere. I've used this drone to fly through trees. I've taken it up on stairway to heaven, flew it around. It's been through a lot with me. I've had this for, I believe, little over a year now and it's nothing but amazing. All right, so I do underwater photography and video, as you guys might see on my Instagram. It'll be linked down in the description, but for, underwater photos for my camera. I use the Aquatech Elite 2 for the 5D Mark IV. It comes just basically without this handle right here and this thing up here. And you gotta buy the lens port. It just screws right on, super simple and easy. And then it comes with this back plate so you can control your aperture or shutter speed, whatever you have it set to. Playback, trash. I have a GoPro Hero 7 Black, I think. And this has been with me for quite a while now, probably like two years. I don't really use it as often anymore. I use the DJI Osmo Action. This is honestly one of like the greatest action cameras I've used. You can turn the screen from here to here. It's really great. The 4K60 looks beautiful. One of the last things is I have Polar Pro Peter McKinnon variable ND filter. The two to five stop, I didn't see a point in like the six to nine stop because that's a bit too dark. But yeah, it has, it's dirty, but on to the next. Last, oh, 
not lastly actually I have two more things I think yeah it is the peak design travel tripod carbon fiber so I backed it when it first came out and it's actually really compact that is my new tripod that I've been using recently and lastly I have a bomb just kidding it is a DJI Ronin S this thing is really good for professional work I've used it only one time so far from owning it but I have used other people's ones previously I don't really know how else to describe this other than that so yeah um if any of you guys were wondering my next purchase would probably be a Canon 24 to 70 a 2.8 mark 2 because that's just to complete the holy trinity and the 24 to 70 is like the all-around lens and then after that maybe a hundred macro we'll see thanks for watching everybody i hope you guys really enjoyed that video if you guys want to see more videos about my gear or anything like that just let me know and that's all see you guys in the next video peace she said she wanna ride. <laughs> next stop <laughs> Oh, yo, oh, 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 o